Yo people, Decepticon here from Vex Elite. Welcome to the second part of Cribs. Now we start this one off with possibly one of my best bases in the game. I absolutely love it. It's a lantern themed base. It's Immortal Defenders. He knows what I think about this base. I think it is absolutely amazing. Or, as he likes to hear me say, class. I like how, these, how he's got these armories in a little row around each other at the beginning. So as soon as you come in you get to see his little stuff. I love the space. I love the fact of everything in here is lantern orientated. It is just a superb little base. Table there with the different chairs going round. We'll go up here. Look, here's his little gym. Once again, something new up here on this balcony. As I say, loads of people do different stuff up here. I think this was the first time I see a gym being used up there. I love the shower. Personal joke, it's got wheelchair access. Lovely little medical area down there. Everything he needs in there. I love that base. That's Immortal Defenders. Now we go straight on to this one. This is AA's or no name at the moment. As you can see, this is very busy in here. If there is an item what you would like to see, what it looks like placed in a base, there's a good chance AA's got it. As a hero, why have you got a load of dead bodies in the corner? That's not right. I love the armories like that. Quite a few people use use them containers to put inside the armories. It really does look smart. Symmetry through the way, I like that. See, I'm a freak. I like things like that. Don't know why you've got a tub in the middle of the room. Tank again in the same place. Are you hungry, AA? Free roast dinners. See, once again, something a bit different up here. I like this, the big round meeting table. You see, he's got his head chair for him. He has his three disciples sitting there. They discuss what's going on. They've got their monitors showing them all the news, what's going on around the world. I like that little idea. That really looks smart. Bloody tank. Real busy, look. You name an item, is it, in there? Now, this little room here, I love this room. This is a class little room. Other than them two tellies on the wall, they don't need to be there. But with the banners with your little badge on, I think are brilliant. But these candles with this black smoke, I just, I love it. Something so simple. And then of course he's gambling bit. Lads are going to have fun, aren't they? Just a bit more dinner, eh? A bit more dinner. That's AA's base. Now, we're in total magics. This seems like... I don't know how long he's been working on it. As I say, it is a bit of a work in progress. Items are literally just a bit random. Don't know what you're doing here, Magic. And whenever you see something blocking doorways like that, look, a table just thrown in the middle. That is, you know that there's something going on behind. Normally it means unfinished. But as you can see, people, if you're watching these just for tips, you can blatantly see there's loads of little tips you can get. Look, even for a little dungeon bedroom area. Total, I don't really know what you're trying to achieve up here but it's scary looking remember you're supposed to be a hero bit open up down there I like it when you've got that bit of space but I also like the fact of when you've got things closed I like the fountain I like it when people use walls use stuff to create walls and create rooms it just looks smart Nice place of armories. That's been total magic space. 
Now we move on to Lantern Originals. Now once again this is a bit of a work in progress. It still looks real, real smart. He's been working on it hard. I love little things like that desk, just on its own like that. I like that. I'm reading the usual place. But it looks smart. Now if you look for the bit of plant growth there, you see he's got a major issue downstairs just statues. So I have seen one of these balconies with just statues up there. It did look quite smart. Now as you see when we go down here he has got some serious sort of growth going on. He needs to get some sort of gardener in here to sort this out. These weeds are just out of control. These little meeting table which no one can barely sit around. Once again, love fish tanks. In your little training area. This is Lantern Originals base. Now we move on to Bean Girls. Now, once again, whenever you see people blocking off complete walls, look, it looks a nice little base. But when you see in the background complete walls blocked off, you always wonder why. I love the black crap and I love it around an armory. It looks real, real smart. But as you'll see, we'll knock a little while through this wall. Let's see what it looks like on this side. Not much. Oh, more of a blockade. And we'll break through that. That's obviously there for a reason. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why there's a big wall going across. There's always a reason, people. There is always a reason. This is Bean Girl's base. Now we're in magics. Now, as you can see, not much going on here, but he's got a couple of good little ideas going on. I like the blocked off area there, having the two armories face like point facing each other. I like that. I like little things like that. Obviously, once again, this is a major work in progress, but it is for you just to see the little ideas what you can get. The little bedroom turned games room. Little mini cinema with the most rottenest settees you could imagine. You wouldn't ever want to sit on them. Put a bit of newspaper down fast. Nice little area down there. He's starting to build the walls there as you can see. That's magic space. Now we move on to Germox's. This is a smart little base. He's been doing this for a while. I like the window, I like the furnace there. Having the bar pretty much as soon as you come in. We give him a little wave. He's working hard there. Might get a beer if we're lucky. No, he's working hard. No time for drinking, people. No time for drinking. Yeah, you little games bit here. I just like it. It's like a little bar as soon as you come in. It's cool. Little escape and motorbike there. That's his bat cycle. The office. I love the little office area there. That's real smart. Don't know why the black crap's just in the middle. So as you can see, this is where he keeps his armories. Another couple up here. Quite a few people do it. It does look smart with the armories up on the balcony. We go downstairs, let's see what he's got down there. I have to jump across here because he's blocked the stairwell. Another one who's got some sort of weed infestation coming through the place and the tank in the exact same spot. What was that? That's his little rainbow. Can't knock the rainbow, we've got him in the legal. Don't see many people using them little houses other than at Christmas, but it does look cool. Nice little gym. His meeting table. It's quite funny how a lot of people have the meeting tables. Now that kitchen unit on the right there with a the sink in it is amazing. I love that. That is real hard to get. I would love to have one. 
and that standalone shower. Class. This is Germox based people. Now in our last vid we have got the blood class crib. Now this people is a superb base. I do love this. He has really worked hard here. I love how you've got these two separate corridors on the left and the right. The right hand side being the little game bit leading up to his throne. Which I genuinely think is probably the best little throne area I've seen. I love it. I genuinely love it. Having to come around here. Look, just, just a separate little corridor. Separate entrance. It just it looks so cool. Simple use way, like uses of arches there. Now, as you can see, there's a big double kitchen here. That is because blood's just always eating food. Lovely big fridge. Once again, love the fish tank. And I love that chill out area there. Looks real smart. Real smart. Let's go and have a little look upstairs, see what he's done up here. As you can see, blood's gone down the bedroom rope. Now this is a superb setup. Look at that. That is an old school setup. That is what I've still got set up in my house. Look, that is just brilliant. Other than I've put the telly on the wall. You could be standing in my house, blood. Let's go and have a little look downstairs, see what he's done there. Don't touch his food, he'll go mental. Now as you can see, he's got a lovely gym down there. He has done it well with a nice bit amount of room there to do a bit of training. You've got your sparring target there, it really does look good. The armoury set over there again, like so many people, they look class down there. Well people, this has been part two of the cribs. I really do hope you're enjoying these videos. The next one ain't going to be done as quick as what this part was, but it will be done soon. Please like, subscribe, thanks.